Oh crap, it's 6 a.m. I'm a half an hour late getting up. I am so screwed. Hello, Hermes. I've been waiting for you. Damn it, Dan. How many times do I have to tell you not to come into my house without me knowing? Um, um, never? You never listen to me! I want to be respected for Pete's sake! Calm down, my beloved. I only wanted to have something to eat. And I did. I had some tuna. What? That was my tuna. I was saving it for a special occasion. Jeez, keep it quiet. You'll wake up the entire neighborhood. <laughs> if I want to wake the neighborhood, I will do it. Get out of my house. Get out of my life. I love you too, beloved. Oh, my dark sector. Dan, I told you to go away. My good friend, Christy Pellegrino. I haven't seen you in ages. I thought you died. Ha <laughs> ha, no. Uh, that wasn't me. I just moved back into town. Well, what brings you to my side of town? It's like you said. We haven't seen each other in a long time. I wanted to check in on you. Come on in. I was about to have some eggs and toast, but now I have to go disinfect my refrigerator. So what's going on with you lately? I'm being stalked by a demented woman. Noise. You getting any? Toast? No, I have to clean up my fridge. Idiot, weren't you listening? Hey, Hermes. Bruce, why is everyone in my house today? So I was just using your bathroom, and I figured I would say hi before I had to go to my shift at the Double Meat Palace. Okay, guys, before I empty out my fridge, do you want anything to eat? I'll have some chicken. I'll have something to drink. Coming right up. Okay, brother. I finished cleaning your fridge. Uh, where did you put all the food? <laughs> oh my god. I think it's the mailman. He hits his foot on the mailbox every day. It must have really hurt this time. Let me go check it out. By the gods of Dark Sector, there's been a murder! Who could do something like this? This is usually such a peaceful town. Hmm. Who's that beautiful girl over there? The one that's wearing all of the makeup? She looks like a cheap hooker. No, I think she's beautiful. Right. And I'm not Scottish. Get a grip, brother. Don't tell me what to goddamn do! What to goddamn do? Never mind. How could you fall for her? She's not very attractive. No. She is. And soon I'll make her mine. And we can scale high places together. Like mountains or- Or the Empire State Building. Like those lovers did in King Kong. Psh, why? Why? Why would you think of that? Seriously, apes must be the worst creatures in the world. You're right, that must be the Guinness talking. <laughs> Big ZG, what's up? My family wants us to go home to our homeland of Georgia, and all 16 of the Zangief children have to leave with them. We have to leave our schools and jobs and go stand in bread lines. It's terrible. Oh no, 
Well, then let's make this the best Thanksgiving dinner ever. Everybody, tonight is Alex Zingief's last night in Ricktown. Let's give him a send-off only a pilgrim could love. Now we need some actors to help with the reenactment. Who will be my wife? I do. So that was a great reenactment, no? Yeah, I had a great time. Hermes Bike, you're a sweet guy. Golly, Jesse Sparko. Bone? Excuse me? Would you like my turkey leg bone? As a memento? <laughs> For what? Well, I, um, love you. Sure, I love you too, husband. Uh, wouldn't it be hilarious if we were really married? <laughs> yeah, uh, hilarious. So what were you doing at that crime scene? Oh, you saw that? I'm so embarrassed. He was my boyfriend. So, you're single? I suppose I am, but man, I really miss him. He was a great beau. Great in a sack. La 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 not listening. As far as I know, she's never had tuna time. Hey, I've got a great idea. What if I were to solve your boyfriend's murder? Oh. My. God! That would be fantastic! Especially since the sheriff is a complete moron. I think his name is, like, Jackson or something like that. And if you can find who killed my precious Andre Clapstein, I could make it worth your while. <laughs> that sounds great. So, I've taken the case. What case? A briefcase? The murder of Jesse Sparko's boyfriend. Now the body and evidence are at the police station. I need somebody to break in. Who's willing to help? Fantastic!